Alright, so welcome back to some Dragon Fable. Uh, last time we started on Pops Rocket, and now we're gonna continue. So, we're on Richard's gear. Uh, um, oh my god. Removing the whole tool storage facility, that was a dirty trick. So, Spulcher was going for the orb too, uh, and trying to stop you from getting there first. Never fear, I have a plan. Uh, deep within the heart of Pops Rocket is our oldest, largest gear that operates most of the smaller gears in town. Um, it was put in place by Richard Fizzle Sproying over a hundred years ago. Um, if you can cut the power to that very large gear, 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 none of the gear operate. Oh my god, no voice. <laughs> none of the gear operated doors in Pop Socket will be open. Butch will have a lot of deadlock doors in his way, and you can keep moving through the tunnels with me for your as your guide. Oh, if only this guy gets to like, fight with us in our team, that'd be pretty funny. Uh, you need to make your way to the higher pop socket. I'll show you the entrance of the under tunnels. Destroy any cycling guards that enter um, agents <laughs> that you see and try not to get burned by the steam vents. All you have to do is remove the power source that keeps Rich's gear turning, with its gig uh, which it's a gigantic robot gerbil on a gigantic wheel. Which is propelled by a smaller real gerbil inside of it. Don't to hurt the little guy, okay? Why not? I want to stamp on him. Flatten him. I'm just sorting my microphone out really quick. There you go. Rotate it a tad. Oh shit. God damn it. I wish you could save your dragon. Same. I don't, I don't ask for much. Is he proper done? Yeah, he is. Um, that's fine. Right. Uh, this guy's got a little bit of health, so let's just burn him straight up. Should have malsified him. Should have malsified him. Got him. Big regrets. Let's just use this. It's not gonna kill him. She does like pretty much guaranteed around 100 damage. 110. But yeah. Nice. You gone. We got we got a few more of them left to fight though. Probably. I don't know. Depends how big this quest is. Might be big. Pretty sure I should be daft to get a machine gun in the face like that, but um, you do you, character. You're a tough person. Getting like machine gun right in the face. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> god damn it. I hasn't stepped in him because I panicked. Um, this guy's a big one. Cyclone Pummeler. You're not much stronger than your friends, to be honest. So um, let's just take you out. How do you like that? Do you feel good though? Probably not. Where's my mouse? Oh, it's here. Nice. Decent XP from these guys. Then again, I have got double XP, so it's not really decent. But you know, it's something. Wow, these guys are a lot stronger than those big ones. <laughs> kind of pathetic, really. Oh, god damn, I hate the way the game spawns, yeah, like on top of the trap after you're in the fight. That's always been a big issue with this game, and I've always found out, found it to be an issue. Ah, missed. Now you're dead. Oh, no, you're not dead. Dead now? No. Eight health. Dead now? Yeah. Gotta be quick. Oh, yeah. I hate these traps. <laughs> well, I don't dislike the traps. I dislike the way the game chucks you on them. After fights, that is a really annoying. Really quite annoying. Final. Burnt. Fucking dead. <laughs> nice. Wow, there's a lot of guys in this area. Um. Oh, I'm I'm taking a good bit of damage. It's a good thing there's a healing pad in front of me. 
Don't headbutt me. 20 damage from a headbutt. You've got a weak, soft head. Oh god, I ran through that. <laughs> Didn't even hit me. Almost did. I didn't see that trap there, that was quite a sneaky trap. Very sneaky trap. It's really annoying that these guys survive with such a little amount of health. 30 health, come on. I'll say like two hits for my final. Gotta wait for a second. Wait for this to charge up. Sorry about that noise, I'm just getting comfortable. Gotta got be comfortable. Why does it just take so long to charge? So whenever you have like a, a lot of health, it just takes for about an hour for it to go up. Uh, which way? I think this way. Because there's a trap there, it makes it look like path of progression. You know what I mean? Final. I think tomorrow in my free time, I'm going to work on leveling up um, another class so that, that I can use on this character. I had a thought literally just then because I, I was thinking, oh, wait, well, uh, I did get the wrong way. Well, I have to go down here, but not right now. Um, I was thinking, um, as, I, as I was talking about uh, Paladin before, I'm thinking to go Necromancer. You know, just up until I get Chaos Weaver. So I'm thinking of getting that. I think that would be quite fun. Did I buy a, a, the Orb of Saving or the Dragon Coin one? I can't remember which one I bought. Oh, this guy's got a lot of health. Can't remember which one it was I got. I think it was just the Orb of Saving. So I might go buy the, um, the one for a thousand Dragon Coins, the Closet. That will mean buying more dragon coins, but uh, I don't really mind. Um, and then I'm, I think I might go for a necromancer. I might have a look if they're good or not. Just because it's like a very a mage class, if you know what I mean. Oh, I used the wrong ability. I was supposed to use mousefire. Shit. That's annoying. That's fine, though. So yeah, I was thinking of going like necromancer, but it's like, I don't know if it's really that good. I'll have to look it up. And it kind of fits the whole wizard shit because it's like a caster sort of, you know, we've got a pyromancer, we've got a, a wizard, we've got a necromancer, they all kind of fit in the same category. I mean, Soul Weaver, I mean, Chaos Weaver is very different. Oh God, look at my health. But it's still good. Can I, um, Oh no, it's only 50% immobility. Let's just have uh, rebirth. Um, yeah. Yeah, Chaos Weaver's not very smidge like, but you know, we don't have these all the time. As I said before, we're just gonna switch classes, so. Uh, I probably sound like a broken record by now, but you know. <laughs> uh, 10 Steam Vent. Nice. Oh, I thought. I thought that stopped all the scene. Look at him. <laughs> um, I have not got a screenshot yet. There you go. Hamster ball. That has got to be the, the biggest mechanical gerbil powered by real gerbil that I've ever seen. Where's the real gerbil? Oh, it's in there. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, I have to battle him. I don't want to kill you, gerbil. Yeah, you're friendly. Um, you've got a lot of health, but that's fine, because I've used Rebirth, so I've got full on pretty much everything. Ow. You do some decent damage that I do not appreciate. <laughs> really big gerbil. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, let's go for... So we, let's burn him, and then we'll final. Um, fire. I want to get a screenshot now. Can I get a cheeky screenshot of this guy's hacking? 
Shit, obviously not, because I'm a retard. I need a screenshot. I haven't got one yet. <laughs> Let's just get it burning him. There you go. Got one just before, like, my attack bar and the little arrow above his head came back. There you go. I got my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, where's he gone? Ow. I'm pretty sure I should be dead, you know, getting a big chunk of metal landing on your head. Not good. Um, faster than a Mecha Griffin. That was awful. I ran out of buffs. So it just did piss all damage. You've got a lot of damage over time though, which is nice. Do this one. God damn, I could fart on him and that attack would um that would do more than that attack. I mean, to be honest, it is is just supposed to weaken him a little. Well, hit chance, but still. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, nice. Uh chad ch chad charged cog. I thought I said chad cog. Um Right, we've done that. Should we get a companion? Wait, Simone was metal, so we couldn't use her. We can probably get... Let's get Ash. There you go. That's all we need. We don't really need anyone, so let's just get anyone. Um, forces under minions are crawling out over the sea, trying to fight their way to Balfar and the energy up. I had hoped that the undead would keep the cyclones busy enough to feed slip past them, but I was wrong. At least we um, we knew what to expect from the cyclones. We can't fight a battle on two fronts, midnight. Um, we need information, soldiers' plans, and troop movements. And I think I know just how to get it. Do you know? For the past few years, we've been working on a project we call Magic Eye. It's a machine that I can that can see images, uh, then transmit them through the uh, ether, and we can view them. Did that say ether? I'm gonna look like a retard if it didn't. Uh, the, uh, we view these images from a separate location as they are happening on a viewing device that was calling it a far a vision. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, like a crystal ball. Blink. Well, yes. I suppose. I suppose you could think of it like that. <laughs> I'm a retard, my character. It sounds exactly like that. Oh shit, I skipped it. Uh, fine, yes, anyway. In the beginning of the magic has is huge and bulky, and they're too large to move. That's funny, most crystal balls can fit in one hand. Stop interrupting. <laughs> it was very interesting seeing that was happening in the next room on a tiny screen that you could just walk in there. Or look into a recently glare. Uh, the team has greatly reduced the size of the magic eye, now it's barely noticeable. Getting entrance into a Spudger's Flying Fortress would be impossible. But we have spotted a flying eye route at the top of one of the towers. If we can get um, you up there with a magic eye, then you can attach it to one of the flying eyeballs sleeping on the roost. We would have one of the Spudger, one of Spudger's own flying eyes um, spying for us, and no one would even know it. Um, I would also be perf it would also be the perfect field test for the new smaller micro magic eye. So you want me to get on top of the flying Dracula's castle without being noticed. Then you want me to slip a spy machine onto a sleepy flying eye also without being noticed. Then escape. Unnoticed? Hmm. Oh yes. Escape that's part of the plan too. Do we, um, do I even want to know how you're going to be planning on getting me up there? No problem, not. Oh god. I think it's a bit hilarious. I remember the art oh, is. Oh, it's a bit so funny. Explain once more why I'm being shot over cannon. Because I can't, oh my god, he's, this can is huge. Uh, because our catapult is having some bugs worked out um, of it by researching him, will he uh, something? If we used a rocket, we'd have either ram you in a castle or detonate the rocket to get you um, to your target. This method is considered your safest bet. 
Being shot of a cannon is safest. Got it. Oh, yikes. Light the fuse. Fuse lit. Um, retreat, retreating to a safe distance. That's comforting. Uh, one more... A few more seconds and you'll be soaring through the air. Um, the first human to fly. Uh, the world will never forget that you what you did here today at midnight. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so funny uh, that, um, that was an amazing success I missed Sepulchre's castle entirely I landed in the Doomwood Swamp and had to fight my way past Lagoon Goons to get back to the Griffin explain how was that a success it was a learning experience and what did you learn uh, to use uh, less, uh, to use less blasting powder and equip you with an emergency parachute. Sorry. Is that idea gonna work? Sure it is. Light the fuse, yikes. Fire in the hole. Once you get the trajectory right, we still need, a f um, need to fire you three more times uh, before we can get the kink sweat. Wait, I have to miss it three more times. <laughs> what? Three more times? You mean you're not going to get me up there on this try? Ah, don't be silly. Uh, we've never done this before. We need to calibrate the... Get me out of this thing. Oops, here comes the little fuse. Good luck. Saw like an eagle. <laughs> Wait until I get out of this cannon, I'll make you saw like the... Yeah. Hey, yes, we looked out. It looks like he made it this time. We're so good. After an unknown amount of time... Oh, it's better. Blather Limpule Morpho Floop. No more badgers, please. Badgers. Guess I made it. I hope you're on the right floor at least. Hope I'm on the right floor at least. Better get moving. The less time I spend here, the better. Got those fireballs. I guess Ash came with us in the cannon. Um, which is awesome, I guess. I should have got that as my different thumbnail, shouldn't I? You know, getting shot out of a cannon. I'll grab it later in my own time. It's important, you know. <laughs> Ash can just one shot all of these with a bit of my help, obviously. Unless he misses, and then it's a complete waste, but, you know, hopefully he won't miss. I'll do too little damage to actually finish it off. Might as well curse him then. I mean, it, it does more damage than <clears throat> using my normal attacks, uh, I guess. Flying a ball. Oh, God, press it. <laughs> Get missing it. That was annoying. I sometimes do that. It's quite annoying. Misclicking. Not my favorite thing. I was. Wait. Oh, these guys are like re really weak to fire. They're like minus 50 weakness. And I put 25 on it. So I guess I don't really need anything. Like, I might as well just use this. It's cheaper. And it does more damage. Hey, I should still be able to finish this guy off. No, of course not. I like it how his own powerful attack does like three times as much, well, a lot more damage than his normal attacks. Only mother of eyeballs. Literally. They're not that bad. It's only about twice the size. They're very weak to fire though. So we are in very good luck. Um, that's justice on this one. Will Ash, oh god. Will Ash take care of, um, these little ones, and we'll just take care of the big one. Sounds like a plan. They do a lot of damage. Damn. Um, let's do this. Uh, 
and then Ash can attack this one again. Uh, let's do this one. No. Oh, strike all foes. I forgot about that. Nice. They need to stop attacking Ash or they're going to kill him very quickly. Um, final. Oh, I knew that was going to obliterate it. <laughs> we have like double damage on fire, I think. Yeah, we have like double damage, pretty much. Oh no, I tapped the wrong one. God damn it. Oh well. It's okay. Ash is fucked anyway. Two more hits. And he's fucked unless they get a crit and then it's one more hit. Um, I should really stun them. But it's a bit too late now. Might as well just finish this one off. If I can finish it off. Ash, you can do some stuff to this. That doesn't heal me. Yeah, it does. It doesn't heal him. Which would have been useful because he's dead. Uh, no, they're not. Wow, Ash is getting really bullied today, isn't he? Um, Let's... Stun. Because if they attack me next time, Ash will die. Um, Ash can finish this one off. That was a bit of a waste for stun. Yes, you got me. That means we could actually he's got a lot of health. So um I guess we won't be able to kill him so easily. Um this one. This stuns for a little bit, so eighty seven damage, wow. This is stronger than his normal attack. Well these multi. Um this should do the trick. Um yeah, my dragon should have finished him off. We saved Ash. He didn't get killed. And none of these other other eyes have seemed to have woken up. Now that all I have to do is slip this on one of these guys and voila. Um, oh wow. I like how he got away with that. This is greatly juiced in size and micro magic eye. Well, too late to go and play now. I'm sure that no one will notice. I better jump before any of these eyes wake up. I hope Nermish Power shoots wake better than their cannons do. <laughs> they don't work any better. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This, that was a good quest. I like that one. Judge Cog, do not want. I could always do a Technomancer, because I do really like Technomancers. I did one on my Paladin character, and it was pretty damn good. Anyway, it's 23 minutes. I'm going to leave this one here. We got, um,. We didn't get much done. Well, we got two quests, but they were quite long quests. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.